Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to Potion Craft, a game available now on Steam in early access where you get to be your very own alchemist and run your very own shop. It's quite a cool game, and I took a look at the demo a few months ago, love this type of game, and I think we need more types like this, whether it's uh, doing alchemy or pizza or casting spells or making cars, I could see a lot of potential for a formula like this, no pun intended, actually yeah, full pun intended. Thanks to the devs for sponsoring today's episode of Potion Craft. You can get it, by the way, down below in the description. There's a link down there to click or tap and bring you right to the uh, store page where you can grab this one today or add it to your wish list or whatnot. But I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, I believe there's even a demo out there, but um, we're going to take a look at the uh, early access version of the game. And uh, there's some more things available that weren't available in the demo, such as building some more things in our basement. I forget exactly what it was uh, that we could build out in there, but we're going to make ourselves some potions and make some princes and princesses and archers proud thanks again for smashing the like button welcome aboard to all the new subs let's jump in to potion craft and thanks again guys for one million i am really excited to get there we're almost there soon <laughs> soon ah the story begins you're a novice alchemist wandering the world in search of your destiny after a long journey you finally found a place to ply your trade what raptoria could it be again Ah, yes. Oh, no, an abandoned house. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Uh, abandoned house. You found an old abandoned house in the edge of town. Judging by the alchemy equipment and garden, the former owner seems to have practiced alchemy. Apparently, a wizard used to live here, but the layer of dust and the condition of the house suggest that it's been empty for a very long time. I say, I added the very, but I mean, you know. Come on, I'm, I'm like concocting my own uh, story here. Shop opening. You decide to turn the house into a post and a potion shop after several days of cleaning and preparing the shop is ready for its first customers it's time to remind to remember your alchemy skills and start a new life in a new town this reminds me of kiki's delivery service or something already that was a great movie great miyazaki film adding ingredients to the cauldron ah potions are made from ingredients take two terrarias and two water blooms from your inventory and chuck them into that cauldron move ingredients click and hold pay attention to the alchemy map on the laboratory wall it shows you the path the ingredients create once they're added to the cauldron ah yes now very 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 many people uh, may turn their brains off right now and not think that there's much to this game but it's actually quite fun to toss some things in yes yeah, so we're gonna add two of each and let's go ahead and do that there we go Boom. Any order. Oh, sorry about that. Any order. <laughs> All right, stirring. After adding the ingredients, we can stir. All right, of course. Use the spoon. Then we can heat it up with the old... I think this thing's called a uh, bellows. Finishing a potion. Perfect. You've added the new effect to the potion. All right, if you want to pause at any time to see what we're doing in the background, make sure you do. It's kind of a helpful uh, tutorial that pops up no matter how many times you've played, but it's a good one to remind you the basics. Finishing a potion. Uh, let's see. Finish potion to finish the potion. Well, I wonder what that does. Oh, it finishes the potion. Grinding ingredients. A mortar and pestle are an alchemist's best friends. You can use the mortar and pestle to grind up practically any ingredients and unlock their potential. This helps you create the same potion using fewer ingredients. Try to create the same potion using one terraria and one water bloom. Oh, let's try that again. Uh-oh, but we're out, of, we're out of some of those. All right, let's grind that up. So rather than using a full ingredient, we're just adding one at a time after using the mortar and pestle. I love how it gets stained, by the way. If you've ever used one of these before for herbs or something like that, you know that all that stuff gets ground up in there quite easily. Completely grind the water bloom using the mortar and pestle. Oh, that's so cool. I love how it looks. It's really nice. There's a different little, uh, yeah, the animations and stuff are really nice. I like that, man. This is very, this is the type of game you grab a cup of tea or some coffee and, you know, maybe it's late at night or a rainy day and you just... You just uh, craft, baby. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Not to mention, we can also make our own names for things. So that's kind of cool. So we can make, uh, well, we can call these potion sauces, like weak uh, potion of healing. But we can call this, uh, you know, sweet baby rays, that type of thing. Solving a potion recipe. Excellent. You made the very same potion, but used half as many ingredients. Your first potion attempt won't always be the most optimal, so experiment and perfect it. If you're happy with the potion you've made, save it in the recipe book, and then you yourself can become Colonel Sanders. No, no, uh, you can make that potion in the future with the click of a button. Save the recipe for your current potion, click Save Recipe to save it. Well, I want to call this some... Oh, i got to complete the tutorial first. Oh, oh well. All right, then, finishing a potion. Nicely done. You've saved the recipe. Now, finish making the potion. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do just that. I want to put my spoon over here. There. Oh, I, I thought it would tip up against the cauldron. I wanted, I wanted to lean it up there. Oh, darn. Oh, well. We'll just dip it back in. There we go. <laughs> 
moving between rooms. You're the owner of a potion shop, and your task is not only to brew potions, but to sell them to customers. The customers arrived. Go to the shop. For moving between rooms, use the WSD and arrow keys to go to the shop. Click on the navigation button or A on the arrow keys, etc. Okay, well, let's move on over here. Offering potions for sale. Now, this is where we get to be like pawn stars, right? Where we get to basically haggle, tell everyone like, Oh, you want this uh, little one ounce of water? Oh, that's going to be $13 trillion. Oh, is that too much? Well, best I can do is $12 trillion. Offering potions for sale every day, people from all over town and even from other towns will stop in to buy various magic potions. Your job is to brew potions in the laboratory and sell them to customers. Many potions must be brewed uh, for a specific purpose, but it's still a good idea to keep a few of the most popular potions on hand just in case. If a customer likes a potion, it'll be clear from their reaction. Oh, so we're going to be uh, basically, uh, we're going to be Yelp, Yelp reviewed, and we're essentially like a pharmacy, but also kind of like a, maybe like a like a barbecue shop I don't know I think of it as like you know we're selling a uh, hot sauce and different types of spices and dry rubs it's just myself personally good afternoon yesterday at a friend's party I burned my tongue on some hot soup oh really not some hot sauce uh, now I can't taste a thing and I'm a brewer I need to be able to check the quality of my product my tongue is useless now do you have any healing uh, tint cure of some kind I, I don't know the name of the thing I'm looking for sir uh, me neither sir uh, to offer a potion, place it on the scale. Uh, how about some of this, sir? Selling potions. The amount of gold you will receive from selling a potion is shown in the sell button. Click the sell button to sell the potion. Oh, I want to haggle. I won't pay very much for something of this nature. Ah, fine, sir. T I'll take it. The customer needs this kind of potion. Offer the potion on the scale. Oh, okay, so same deal as last time. My husband has been ill for quite some time now, but recently he got even worse. Now he can't even get up. As he has a fever and sweats. Do you have any medicine for my poor husband? Oh, man. Uh, how about one of these, ma'am? Do Would you like that, ma'am? Oh, yeah. Oh, but it's a shame, ma'am. The best I can do is uh, do a little haggling. Boom. Oh, get wrecked. Now my uh, I'll buy this potion, but I won't pay very much. Oh, come on, ma'am. Come on. Come on. All right, we got a deal. I think I was supposed to click on the things in the middle. I think we were supposed to avoid green, but you get the point, right? Lack of suitable potions. You'll often not have a ready-made potion for certain customers. That's okay. You can always go back to the, libra uh, to, the, to the library. Back to the lab and make the potion they need. There's no time limit, so you can focus on the recipe the clients will not leave. Oh, that's nice. You get a little time to chill it out. All right, let's go to the garden. So this is where we make the potions. This is the good old garden here. Gathering ingredients. The enchanted garden is one of the alchemist's main sources for ingredients. Every day, new ingredients will grow in the garden. Don't forget to pick them from time to time. Click on the ingredients and gather one terraria and one fire bell. Well, there's our terraria there. That's one. And that must be a fire bell there. There we go. Go back to the lab. I feel like we're a rapper concocting some, you know, hip-hoppy goodness. You know what I mean? Making a poison. The customer needs a poison, which means they'll need to create a, a potion with a poison effect. You'll have to look for most of the effects on your own throughout the map, but you remember from your alchemy lessons that such a potion can be made with one terraria and one fire bell. Well, let's go ahead and throw it into the old uh, pestle then and try to make two of those bad boys. There we go. There we go. Just had to make sure it died to death, you know, just in case it tried to jump out. Try making a brew potion yourself. Okay, so I wonder what would happen if we, like... Let's see. If we stir it without boiling it, let's see how that goes. Okay, now let's add the bell. Let's grind that bad boy up, too. Looks like it goes to the left and we learn something new. Okay, let's try that. Well, let's add a little, little fire to that bad boy. Woo! Ah. Oh, a little more heat. There we go. Finish making the potion. Ah, we've got it. Oh, come on. I want to... Okay, it's fine. All right, it does show us over here what we made of it, so we'll save that recipe for potion, uh, poison potions, and let's finish the potion. All right, let's try to haggle this time correctly. Offer the potion to the customer, and let's haggle, ma'am. By right, this time, we got to go for, I guess, the middle button? It tells you all about it in the middle. Bum, bum. Ma'am, you sure you don't want to... There we go, we sold it for 12. Damn it, all right. Angling is such a pain, but I love it. 
Hello! Mice have infested my hut, and even though I have a cat, the cat just lies in the cabinets and watches the mice do whatever they please, so I need a vial of rat poison. It'll be easier to poison those rodents than to wait for a stupid cat's help. I'll buy this potion, but I won't bathe very much. There you go, ma'am. Ah, let's go to the bedroom, where the real magic happens, I guess, because, you know, I'm a wizard. And that's where I do my best magic. Oh, we gotta go up. Wait, can I go down in the basement? Aww. Oh. Ah, there we go. Ending the day. To end the day, click on the bed and confirm you want to end the day. Ah, uh, yes, please. Z, 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 top. Z, 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 top. Wait, where'd we get all these from? Oh, it's a tutorial, so... End of tutorial! Okay, was the... It was the tutorial. I was right until I said that. Man. All right, end of tutorial. Excellent. You've refreshed your alchemy knowledge and familiarized yourself with the alchemy equipment. In the attic next to the bed, you found new ingredients and a ladle for water. This is your potion shop now, and you decide what to do next. Greet customers, chat, sell potions, haggle. Don't forget to download the game with the link down below in the description. Gather ingredients from the Enchanted Garden and gradually explore the alchemy map. Good luck. Oh, yeah, I love exploring maps. Can I write a letter? Like, dear KFC, please send me your secret recipe. Ah, whatever, I'll make my own. Okay, what do we got here? Some agua. Ooh. All right, that's water, by the way, for those of you who don't speak French. I'm just kidding, it's German. All right, let's grab all the stuff we can. Uh, let's see, let's load up that... Wow, the garden is so cool. I love the art style of this game. A lot of people will just kind of be like, meh, bad graphics. But it's like, no way, dude, this is storybook stuff. This, this is what fairy tales are literally made of. Ah, goal achieved. Get down to the basement. Yeah, this is the alchemy office down here. Man, is this place wrecked. Alchemy machine. This alchemy machine is badly damaged. Find a merchant who can sell your you parts for a new alchemy machine. Ooh. Can I get that on Amazon? Oh. Okay. Uh, regent for creating uh, Al Al albedo and void salt. Oh, we got some secret recipes down here, baby. Recipe is partly damaged. Okay. We got to do some more things before we learn some of these uh, recipes up on the scroll thing. So there must have been a fire down here. This dude let his house go, dude. He, it, he probably collected on the insurance money. I don't know. All right, let's go uh, talk to the customers. Hello. Uh, let's see. Give me a healing potion. You got it, sir. I'm gonna make a couple of these. You get. You guys don't. Hey, you guys don't mind if I take a minute, do you? No. Okay. Cool. All right, I'll be in the back. Wow. Look at these uh, different potions and stuff. Okay. So we remembered some of the recipes, right? So we have our recipe book, alchemist path. There's so many different things to learn. I love this. Um, okay. So let's go with our weak potion of healing. We can rename any time. Uh, but let's go ahead and brew this recipe. We can crap up, crap up, craft up a couple of those. There we go. So if we already remember the recipe, if we've learned it, we don't have to do this whole process again, but always a good idea to do that. All right, let's go ahead and offer you... Sir, what do you think of that, huh? Yeah, it looks like Heinz ketchup. You like that? Yeah, it's Heinz 57, by the way. Mm-hmm. That's right, all natural. No sugars, right? No sugars, yep. Okay. Right there. Oh, <gasps> I know. All right, let's haggle, sir. What do we got? Come on. Look at it intensely. Stare at it. Come on, bro. Give me money. Yeah! Wait, what? Was that less? Wait, no, that's... Wait. No, that's good. That's good. That means there's a lot of money. <laughs> uh, Bandit shot me through the shoulder with an arrow yesterday. The wound isn't serious, but I can't lie around for a whole month. I need to get back to work. There you go, sir. End dialogue. Uh, good afternoon. Invisible beetles have taken to our wheat fields. They're eating our harvest, and they're doing it fast. We need a poison. All right, not a problem. Let me get you a diet soda. Let's see. How do we make a diet soda? Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Weak potion of poisoning. Good. Let's make, like, five of these, too. There we go. Always a good idea to have a couple of the basics around. Poison, healing, you know. All right, sir. There you go for those beetles. Do you like this? There you go. Oh, ooh, yeah, I know. Okay, let's see. Stare it intensely. Yeah, let's go with just a little bit. There you are. Oh, plus three. I th oh, that's reputation. Nice. I had some strange soup for lunch today. Now I don't feel so good. Ugh. Do you have anything for a troubled gut? Uh, no... No more gastronomic adventures. To offer a potion, po po put it on the scale. Well, I know he won't like this, but let's see what happens if it's not something he likes. Mm, it's got a healing. But is there something to... Cure stomach ailments. Let's see. Uh, thick and hot, sometimes added to food for a touch of spice. Use it like a fan to cool off. Uh, he's not really... Hmm. Slightly hot to the touch. 
maybe maybe a healing potion would be good here. We could experiment though. Let's let's do a little rando experiment. Let's do a shadow chanterelle. Oh, and I need a little bit of water. There we go. Oh, and, oh, oh a little top off with a little bit more. Bam, perfect. Just like emerald. All right, let's add that a uh, little bit of that uh, shadowy mixture. Oh, this will show which direction it'll go. Some of these will actually like fail. So we gotta be a little careful. Ooh, the Terraria will bring us down through a different, ooh, two, two different books, there we go. There we go. It'll bring us close to death, but we'll be all right. Okay, let's mix it up. Oh damn, look at all that stuff we unlock and all that knowledge, oh, oh, okay, we're good. Perfect, brought us close. Talent, level up. Okay, let me eat that bad boy up. A uh, new potion, uh, at least one, wait. Add at least one effect to complete the potion. Ooh, by exploring and failing, though, we've unlocked more points and things. So sometimes he's got to goof off, which is totally what I do. You know. All right, let's add a water bloom. All right, we're going to the right. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Okay, let's keep going to the right side. Now we can add water to, like, nullify it. How do we keep going to the right side? Another water bloom. There we go. We'll arrive at something here. There we go. I love how the game tells you you can just chill out and, like, do whatever. Okay, so we can finalize that potion. I think we can back it up with the, uh, yeah. Add a little bit of water. Okay, let's go ahead and finish that one. So I think maybe we get more with the two. But, uh, it's all good. We're just learning. Alright, cool. So we got a frost potion. That's cool. That's unique and neat. Oh, uh, save last recipe. Oh, so if you uh, accidentally click too fast, boom, they're smart enough to save the last recipe. That's awesome. Damn, we're knocking out stuff all all of a sudden. All right, let's see if this man wants a healing potion. He seemed to he seemed to be pretty happy with that, right? All right? Let's hit him on the way back. Boom, 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 boom. There you go, sir. All right. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Are you the new alchemist? I'm the local herbalist. I gather plants and sell them. Want to see what I have for sale? I think I have something that might interest you. Oh, really, ma'am? Do you sell anything else besides herbs, like? You know, like illegal DVDs or anything. I only sell what I know about. Flowers, herbs, roots, and various berries and fruit. You should be ashamed for trying... What, Ma'am, I was... Oh, wait. You can buy other things from other merchants. Oh, thank you. Okay. What do you have, ma'am? Oh, what is that thing? Tangleweed. Uh, let's see. I think I'm good, ma'am. Actually, give me, give me some of that terraria. Whoa, 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 whoa. What else you got? Oh, all. Oh, you can sort. Nice. Okay. Yeah, ma'am, I'll take, uh, oof, let's see, maybe two of those. You gotta, I'll have a number one large with extra dip. No, haggle. Stare it in intensely, ma'am. Think about a book, think about a girl book, sausages, rain cloud. All right, I think I got it for less. Did I? Yes, I did. Did I? I did. Yes, I did. I did. Yeah. Buy something from a merchant. Well, goodbye to you, ma'am. Uh, that'll be that'll be all. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, sir. I need a strong and fast-acting poison. I'd appreciate it if you saved your questions and kept our little deal a secret. Your silence will be generously rewarded. Of course. Okay, now this is starting to remind me of Paper Please. This is a little bit more to this game than just make potion and move on. This is this is big brain only. Uh, to offer a potion set on the scale, how about that? I know you might want a faster-acting potion, but I need a little bit more money now. It's my money, and I need it now. All right, let's haggle. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, steal. I'll sell it for 12. That's fine. Oh, wait. Oh, negative 30. He, ma he mad. He mad. I'm going to tell everybody now, sir. Hello, I was summoned to deal with an ice elemental torturing the mountain village. Ordinary sword is useless against elementals, but if you give me a fire potion, I'll coat my blade with it and take that elemental down. You got it, sir. I will, or ma'am, I will reverse engineer whomever you may be. I am going to get to work right for you. Let's do it. So this is a little fiery. Okay. That'll do. And then this is also fiery too. Learn a new talent. Go to the bedroom. Start a new day. No way. I'm having way too much fun. You can't tell me what to do. We're close. Uh, we could add a little bit more fire. 
or we could go up. But it looks like we're about to arrive at a potion, so let's do a little bit more. I guess we don't have to grind this, but I'll learn. Ooh, there we go. Check that out. So the more precise we are, the better. This is a potion of fire rather than a weak potion of fire. Ah, so precision is everything. Player development, I'm getting better. Are you guys proud of me? No? Okay. Um, well, that's fine. I'm proud of me. Okay, so now I got this recipe. Finish potion, please. Oh, create a potion with an effect. Wow, I'm just knocking them out. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da -ba -da -da. All these goals knocked out. All right, here you are, sir. Here's some, uh, yeah, that's right. That's that Buffalo Wild Wings. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, whoa, 34. Damn. Um, uh, the potion will do, but I'll pay for more something higher grade. Well, that definitely did. Wait, higher grade? Nah, that's good enough. You're, you're not getting anything more th from two than me. Oh, look at that smile. That person was happy. All right, what a coincidence. Command sent me to find an elemental too, but this one is a fire elemental. It's gotten in the habit of strolling through the wheat fields lately and starting fires. Do you have anything that will cool them down? Oh, I got a weak potion. Ooh, I know. Fancy, huh? I'll make better ones soon, sir. I'm a newbie. Oh, God. Oh, he's going to be mad. There we go. How's that, sir? All right, he's happy. Nice. All right, now we can go back to the garden and pick things if anything's grown. Nope. Uh, but we can make more potions for the rest of the day, so I'm definitely going to do some uh, pre-renders. Or what do you call this? Prep work, I guess? So let's do uh, potion of fire. Wait, how do I make these again? I forgot. Uh, uh oh. Go back. Oh, I just did it. Wait, brew... Oh, are we... Oh, we're out of the thingy I need. Yep, you were right. I know you're screaming at your screen. It's okay. <laughs> we got it. Yeah, let's do a couple more poisons, another healing potion, and uh, now let's do a little experiment before we end our day. Let's try uh, the Dryad Saddle. That brings us down. Ooh. We could try to swing to the left. This will bring us... Oh, let me put that back up there. This brings us to the right. Oh, that'll bring us right through death territory. Uh, let's see. It's almost like, like we're planning a GPS route or something. Except for GPS stands for, like, uh, Global Potion Simulator. That would have been a horrible name for this. The Potion Craft's a much better... Much better name. Now, I wonder, if we put a bunch of ingredients in here... It gets a lot of extra bonuses, right? Like, if we go down this way... I want to keep going down here. Let's keep going down. Can't see down that far, but uh, I guess we are meant to... We are meant to fail, so that way we can explore. That's how research is done. And we also get bonuses from these books. Unlocking new tech, I guess. Can't go south anymore. We'll go west. I feel like we're exploring a map rather. Well, I mean, they do say that. Oh, I want to go down again. Oh, no. Yeah, let's keep going to the left. I don't know what the hell I'm going to make, but damn. It's going to be crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, what can we go now? More to the left, please. Uh-oh. Well, we got more knowledge for it, though. Oh, well. It's a failed brew. Unless... Oh, damn. <laughs> it definitely was. That's okay. We gathered all that knowledge point. You kind of have to explore for that stuff. And then we have to see if we can find ourselves some legendary recipes and such. Wow, we're level 7 within, like, the first day. And we're almost one-seventh of the whole way uh, through the ch talent tree or whatever. Of course, it'll get uh, a little crazier as we go on. And we can zoom the map out a bit, too, which is helpful. And we can also track. So that's cool. So we went down around this way. So now we just gotta get more ingredients to explore. So we need that lady to come around again and trade us. Nobody else coming, huh? Alright. Well, we'll call it a night. Let's go back up to our bedroom and take a little snooze. Go to bed. Achievement unlocked. Wow. Imagine that. 
We we did good. Bum 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 bum. Okay, start a new day. The day begins. Let's go down and meet our customers. Uh, oh wait, actually, let's go to the garden. Oh yeah. I wonder if we can grow stuff ourselves and get seeds and whatnot. Things seem to maybe grow at random. Ooh, I missed that up there if that was there before. Gotta be thorough. That could have been there before. Alright, customers. Ooh, we have a farmer. Oh no, a fisherman. Greetings! I recently went fishing on a lake in the forest. I cast my line out and immediately got a bite. I reeled it in and tried to get it off my hook, but the fish had some teeth. It bit me on the palm and flopped back into the water. Now my hand is swollen. How can I fish now? Oh, you just need a little little healing potion. There you go, sir. Get a little haggling in for that one, though. Got to weave a little tale about how this is the best healing potion ever. There you go. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, let's see. I damaged... I, I finished digging up stumps in my field. was planning to burn them to... Oh, fertilize the soil with ash. But then, as luck would have it, it started raining that day and the stumps got soaked. I need to plow the field this week. Help me out. Uh, what? Wait, what? You need a non... Start, wait, you need a potion to clear the rain? Hmm. Or something to... Wait. Can you do with just a fire potion, sir? Let's see. Oh, here's a, here's a bunch of little quests, too. Learn new talents. A lot of things that you can do. Little side quests. Uh, oh, I don't have any more of those uh, thingies, though. Uh-oh. Well, I could try to give you a basic fire. Uh, wait. Let me try to make something new for you, sir. If I can do that. Oh, yeah. There's the beeline to the... To the fire potion. We need that. We know that one, though. I'll make it by hand, because it's fun. I actually... You know, you can always click to do it. You know, the auto thingy. Well, let's see if we can be precise with our ingredients now. Oh, that'll deliver us right there if we use the mortal... Pestle. Okay, there we go. Careful. Just a little bit more.
Aha. Let's see. Wait a minute. Ooh, trading, haggling. Ooh, there we go. Uh, let's see. Let's put a point into everything. At the start there. That's good. Uh, and then let's do haggling up, increase, and visibility radius. There we go. All right, I'll be right back, ma'am. Let's see. Potion of light. Uh, that's question mark up there at the left. How will we get up there? We'd have to go right one and then up. So, let's go with the fire. That'll provide light, right? Then something to mellow it out. Mortar and pestle to the top. Yep. And we want to go swing left again, just a little bit. So another regular fire bell. Although we could do it without it. So that way we fail, and, but we get the knowledge points. Well, let's see what this one is. What is that, a vortex? Ooh. Whatever that is, show me the money. Hey, there we go, a new effect of light. Potion of light. Save that recipe. All right, ma'am, I got you covered. That'll be twenty-two ninety-nine plus state and federal tax and disposal fee. Oh wait, sorry, this ain't uh, AutoZone. Come on, ma'am, this is. Oh, come on, you're being, ma'am, you're being ridiculous, ma'am. Okay. She didn't want to haggle for too long. She's gonna be mad. That's fine. Three robbers attacked me yesterday. They wanted my money, but couldn't find any, so they gave me a good beating instead. Whoa. Uh, I headed in the safe place. Now I have to spend the money on a healing potion. My whole body aches. Well, that might do for you, sir. So we'll get rid of our weak stuff, and then we'll start figuring out higher quality ones. So what we got to do now is make higher quality potions to make higher quality money. Of course, put our haggling skills up a bit. Come on. Any more points to spend? Nope. Uh, let's see. Oh, you're a witch? Witch! She's a witch! Okay, uh, let's see. Local call me... You happen to carry a poison in your shop. Sure, ma'am, there you are. Uh, why would a witch need poison, by the way? Sometimes our witch recipes call for poison and human blood, but I'll get that for myself somehow. Oh, okay. You gonna go rob a blood bank or something, ma'am? I should probably report that to the authorities. Anyway, look at it intensely, and I'll tell you why you should pay more. Give me more money. Uh, I'm, I'm horrible at haggling. <laughs> I'm horrible. Ah, uh, well. It's uh, all good. Another good day in the neighborhood. Any other uh, stuff out here? I guess not. Well, we will call it a day for Potion Craft, game available now on Steam. A lovely early access to a game that uh, has charming music, wonderful uh, art style and graphics, and this is just the type of game It's perfect for unwinding, having a cup of tea, coffee, chilling with some pets or some youngins, and just kind of like cuddling up to uh, some fun of going down the roadmap of earning some money, making some potions, and having a good time. A perfect, perfect potion, I must say. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Take care. And thanks again to the devs for sponsoring. The link is down below in the description to pick up Potion Craft now. Thanks again, everybody, for the support. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.